It's Monday. You about to text a good morning, have a good week, have a productive week, and you think that's going to do something for her. You think that's going to solidify your spot this weekend when you know she got errands to run. You know she got appointments. You know that no matter what she do, she got to put gas in her car. She got to go somewhere. She got to spend money. But you want to send her a free text and want to know why she rolled her eyes and didn't take you back. Because she need money. Send that woman some money for the week, man. Stop being fucking cheap. There's two things a woman want to hear. Her cash app and Zell. And what's her full name and birthday? Book her a trip. If you really want her, do something different. Stop asking her to the movies or the dinner. She can drive there herself. Do something no one else is asking her for. Here are some things I expect a man to pay for while I'm dating him or we're in a relationship. All dates. Like, sir, you're courting me. You're dating me. Like, you should be paying for the date. I don't pay for dates. So, I like, what are we doing here? Why would you ask me on a date if you're not going to pay for it? That doesn't make any sense to me. Now, I know you don't want to look at my crusty nails. And my nails are never crusty because I'm a model. So I have to get my nails done for shoots. And, like, I usually upkeep my nails once every two weeks. So you got to be able to afford my nails to be done once every two weeks. You just have to. To date me. Honestly, when it comes to hair, I have, like, that wash and go hair. But still, products are expensive. Like, my conditioners, my leave-ins, my detanglers, my co-washes. Like, hair is expensive. So, I'm going to need you to front the bill on that. You know, like, you need to help me out. Now, if you guys don't already know, Ubers are a given, a must. Like, I do not pay for my transportation to these dates. You must get my Uber. That is just the standard. I don't like looking like a bush monkey, so waxing is a given. I feel like nobody wants to see that. So, yeah. You got my wax, right? You got my wax. Now, further down the line, I'm not talking about the first few dates, but eventually, you're going to have to pay my rent. Like, girls got bills to pay, and I am too feminine to, like, pay for myself. So, I mean, I do that now, but, like, if I'm with you, why would I pay for my own bills? Ugh, no. If you don't want to buy no girl nothing and you talking about you feel like you a simp, you don't want to get their hair done, you don't want to get their nails done, you don't want to do nothing for them, you don't want to send them no little cash app, no little Zelle to make them feel good for the day, you don't want to take them on no date, leave them type of girls alone. Leave them type of girls alone. You know what them type of girls look like. If you can't afford that girl, leave her alone because guess what? It is a group of men. It's a society of men. They want them type of girls and we will take care of them. You feel me? We gonna make them feel safe. Baby, you want the cash out? Uh! You need them nails done? Uh! You ain't even got to ask me. I'm gonna look at the nails. You feel me? Uh! There you go. You wanna go eat, baby? I'm gonna eat anyway. Uh! She is safe with us. Talk about your Atlanta experience, though. I know for a minute you was you was coming up off the scam and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jug! Okay, Jug Rich. Yeah, definitely. Uh, That's how I came up. Doing, and it, it's like that. It was like an error. Like, it was going crazy. You know what's so crazy? Like, bro, like, this could be a good interview. Because but how'd you get into that? Like, um, somebody put you on to it? Or and like, I, was, I, I was, like, on some, like, real depressed. I was, like, going through depression, like, trying to figure out, like, some money. Mm -hmm. And it was like... Some shit happened, like I was, you know what I'm saying, I was in a real badass relationship, you know what I'm saying, it was horrible, it was a fucked up relationship, bro, and then uh, I had lost my job, because mm. I went to school for like heat and air conditioning, you know what I'm saying, Oh wow. so I was doing it, I was doing the air conditioning shit, and I got fired, you know what I'm saying, and then I got fired for that shit, and I was just like, damn, bro, what the fuck I'm finna do, I'm, I'm depressed, I'm at the house just depressed, like, mm. just eating noodles depressed. Yes, boss! Listen, man, you seen the series of clips that I played for you, and I'm not even gonna play with you, dog. So put it like this, right? There's a lot of dudes who don't mind sending females cash apps, wanting their time, oh, I'll make your day better, whatever the case may be, right? So I'm going to just be real with you. To me, and I'm going to just be real, me being me, that's fuckery, dog. I don't, I don't do shit like that. You get what I'm saying? Call me selfish. Call me whatever it is you want to call me. You feel me? And I still get play after that. You get what I'm saying? So here's the deal. If you send a female money, that doesn't necessarily mean that she's going to like you for you. She's going to like your money, dog. You get what I'm saying? If you're spending, then guess what? She's going to she's gonna be willing to take it. You feel me? Now, here's the deal. You have to understand that there's different types of dudes. A lot of the dudes that are saying this type of stuff, to be downright honest with you, they didn't really work hard for what it is that they have, and I'm going to tell you why. Anybody with common sense within their right mind who work hard for what they have 
they're not just going to randomly up and just send the female bread like that, especially if they spun the block a thousand times, dog. Everybody knows that if you work hard for something, you work hard for it. You're not just going to go away, go ahead and just take your hard earned money and just give it to somebody like that willingly, unless it's in your heart, but to just be sending 500, 1,000, 100, 25, 35, it's like literally you're like bleeding yourself dry and that's what creates these entitled women. You feel me? Now, in the second clip that I played, you feel me? There was a female who said, yo, in order for a dude to talk to me, he needs to pay for this, pay for my time. Uh, my money is my money. His money is my money. Let me tell you something. That's what creates this entitlement and that's why I played that second clip. I'm not trying nobody. I'm not being disrespectful. Here's the deal. I'm not spending bread on no female, especially you, bro. You're not even no A1. No, you feel me? I ain't even being rude, bro. You know for a fact that whoever is doing this and there's somebody who would do this stuff for her. You feel me? It's because there are some dudes who don't know their value. You don't have to spend money on a female for them to like you or for them to give you your time, dog. Or if you're trying to get laid, bro, you could just quickly beat bypass that dog and go to another level you feel me which is prostitution which is not right but at the same time if that's your aim you don't have to spend money in hopes of getting that dog you're just wasting your money i'm just being real with you dog just being real but the main clip in all of this what i wanted to point out is i don't know the first dude i don't know the second person but the third person is coca van Gogh, right and i'm glad that he put out that video stating you know there's a market of dudes who will spend that money and they'll go ahead and they'll cater to a woman. He's telling the truth because a lot of those dudes who are willing to do that, I'm being real with you, they didn't rightfully work hard for that money on their own, dog. And that's why I played that second clip. Coca Van Gogh is a scammer. Scamming is what put him on to his lifestyle and what gave him the lifestyle that he has. And whether you want to call it scamming or whatever scamming is basically being a thief dog so if you're scamming people using their information to get iphones and sell iphones trust me i know what that is dog like i live in florida bro i live in i live in south florida bro like every and anything you could have ever heard of is a scam it's ran through south florida bro trust me dog uh and believe me what i'm telling you bro it's it's been ran through down here you feel me so what he's talking about is open getting iPhones, getting uh somebody's information, trying to see what they can get approved for so they can get uh iPhones. How do I know that much information? I used to work for T-Mobile. So I understand all of this shit. It's 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 a walk in the park for me, dog. So if you have somebody's information at that time, you could try to see about how much lines you could get approved for. Yeah, I'll take all iPhones. What's the down payment? 200 and i'll get all of them then they take those phones and then they sell them you feel me so all of what he told you of sending females money and all of that he doesn't mind doing that because the way how he came up into that money is off of somebody else with their information which means that that money doesn't mean anything to him because he didn't work hard for it he worked hard for it in an evil way but at the same time, it's not his. So he doesn't mind splurging it. You get what I'm saying? This is the reason why I said that there's a lot of confusion in the world. There are guys out here that will do this type of stuff, but I'm just being real with you. This is all a head game, and I'm just giving you game right now, bro. A lot of these guys that are touching this money and touching it fast, they're not just going to up it and spend it on any and any female. It has to be a like a balance, dog. They're going to have to have a female that's going to be willing to do things for them to make things work for them to give you that lifestyle. Like, you have to understand that a lot of people out here are lying. I played the second clip because I wanted to show you as well after that Coca Van Gogh, I'm not coming from because I actually like to do. I don't hate nobody. You feel me? Bruh said, yo, I, I, I started off doing HVAC, but it didn't work. And I felt that. You want to know why? Because I went to school for HVAC. You get what I'm saying? And I got fired from my job. And it was all due to racism. You get what I'm saying? Little things like that, it will break somebody's spirit. 
and how hard life is, it will break somebody's spirit. So I understand. But at the end of the day, the more that you try harder and you push, there will be light at the end of the tunnel, dog. He never had to take the scamming route. He said that he fell into a depression, meaning that, yo, if you want certain things and you can't have it and life is so hard, your job ain't doing you right. You went to school for something that's not working. Why do you think a lot of people turn to this lifestyle? It's America. That's why I said I don't blame people. I listen to everybody and who they are and I don't judge nobody. You get what I'm saying? But I'm here to split the difference and show you both sides. He doesn't mind spending that money because he's scamming. He's seeing it fast and easy. Everybody knows an iPhone is like a thousand dollars a piece. You feel me? So if you're selling iPhones and you're getting a couple of them off of one account or off of one social or one line, and you're probably seeing five or six of these a day, you're seeing some thousands dog a day. That's more than the average person. The average person, like from a nine to five. After taxes and all of that, they're taking home like a hundred, maybe two hundred plus dollars. After taxes, you're getting a couple thousands a day, and you're not doing that in a whole eight hour. I, well, I can't say that. I don't know how long his process takes him. But what I'm saying is the amount of money that you're seeing is a lot in that time frame. So you don't mind spending it and splurging it, and that's gonna attract women. And I'm telling you this right now: a lot of guys who turn to this lifestyle, they're doing it. Not only to make sure that they're straight and live a certain way, but mainly to obtain females, get pussy, you feel me? This is the stuff that I'm trying to tell you about, but it backfires. That's why I showed you the second video. When females see that, oh, there are guys who are willing to spend money on females and cash app them, that makes even the most un... I'm not being disrespectful, like I said, even the most unattractive female have that most extra confidence to be like yes if you want to talk to me you need to cash at me so it's like a one thing it's a thing where it's like one bad apple spoils it for the bunch you feel me that's literally all it is i'm trying to say for you once again i'm just trying to split the difference i don't hate nobody i'm just trying to tell you what's real and nobody's ever going to show you this if you know what it's like to put in a hard day's worth of work a real hard day's worth of work especially out in the sun and you out here, oh, this is my paycheck. You know that, yo, when I get some money, I'm not going to be spending it like that on no female that wasn't there for me or you wasn't. You get what I'm saying? You have to understand the difference. There are some people who work hard for what they have in a, in a rightful way. And there are some people who did it in a, in, a, in a negative way. You get what I'm saying? So with that being said, remember this. Words can help you. They can hurt you. But here on my channel, I use them to uplift you because everybody's a champion. Nobody's a loser, man. 444 the world. Peace.